Alright, reload. So, I was at the Gyrodon of Velodrome down in Rock Hill, South Carolina for most of a week that I was on vacation. And this just happened to be the first time trial day of the series, the, the first Wednesday. It got rescheduled from a couple Wednesdays ago because it was cold and all that crap, but enough of that. So, the, the two previous time trial competitors, they're getting off the track right now, and here I am on deck, and it's run as a pursuit, actually, so it's 1k time trial, run as an individual pursuit, so it's me on this straight, the other guys on the other straight. Right. Had to make sure I got my pedals in the right spot, because it will be a standing start. Uh, normally, you would want your you want to start off with your left pedal, but because I'm goofy, I start off with my right. Uh, you want to start off with your left because of the banking. Whatever. So we're just waiting for the other guy to get set. He, we, we talk for a good amount of time. He's pretty new to the sport. I told him I was new. I was new uh, once, in a, once in a while. Once upon a time. Something like that. It was a good time. We're just waiting for him to get his get his stuff clipped in and all that jazz. He's new to the sport. So, this is a 250 meter track. As you can see, uh, the, the lap counter says four laps because one kilometer on this track is four laps. The track is 250 meters. All right. This is a standing start, not quite off from the white line. And now we are set. Let's wait for the start. Here we go. Definitely get get myself on my feet. Make sure to just keep driving through as long as I can. Get that speed up very quickly. Drive, 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 drive. Up, up, up. And here I drop in to turn three. Just going to just keep sailing through here. Through turn four. Keep going strong. We've got three laps left. Drop into turn two. Come out of turn three. Just keep the momentum going. As you can see, I was going up the red, li the red line a little bit, the sprinter's line. Drop into turn three. We're about to come out of turn four. It's a little bit bumpy on this track, but it's concrete and camera mount, whatever. Here we go. This is when I start dying, apparently. Pretty much the entire time I can see the other guy, like, you know, he's a few bike lengths away. If I kept up this pace, the, the pace from the first two laps, it would have been a lot better sailing for me. I would have gotten a lot better time, but whatever. Here we go. End of lap three. This is the bell lap now. If I wasn't, if I didn't have the waterproof case on this camera, be able to hear the bell, be able to hear the whistle, be able to hear everything. But see, see now I can't even see. I can barely see the guy in front of me, cause obviously I'm slowing down and I'm dying. And yeah, now I'm definitely riding black line and across the line we go go up track to make it easier to slow down and then we got to get off the track because they're about to set up the next two people or I forget where was I the last two I forget whatever need to get off the track I was, I was one of the last people there 